Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm with my good friend Sam, which we kind of met on the channel. Wanna say hello? Yeah, you gotta meet sir, Sam. Right, so basically I'm in his den and he's got some awesome stuff set up, CNC's, lasers, printers, loads of hardwood, fantastic tools, everything you can think of. It's like a, a kid in a candy shop. So I've got the kids here, we're here having kind of like a family date and a little look around and a little play. But right now I'm going to give you a little, kind of like a little tour and then we're going to have a look at the Shaper. It's called the Shaper, isn't it? Yeah, Shaper Origin, the handheld CNC. But you'll see a few other goodies as well. Not sure whether I'm going to split that into two videos or not. But anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around. All right, so look at this lovely CNC. It's a big one. What is it? Four foot by four foot. Yeah. Four foot by four foot. Lots of gadgets lying around. CNCs, lasers. So jealous. Let's move over to the other side. Oh, look what I've spotted. The Shape Art Origin. Yeah, this is what I've been meaning to get for a long, long time. But we're going to have a little play in a moment because um. Last time I came, um, I used it, didn't I? And I yeah. was really impressed. Yeah. And uh, there we go. So what is this? What version is this one? Gen 1. Gen 1. And what is the difference between 1 and what, what is the generation now? Uh, Gen 2 is the latest. Oh, uh, right. It's like a bigger screen. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Anyway, um, where are we going to make mess with this next door? All right, we're going to take this next door. And I'll get some action. All right, Bertie, say hello to the viewers. Hello. This is my annoying son, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so everyone ready for this? Every gadget you could possibly imagine. The best stuff as well. Right, um, anything that you want to show? Any any good tools? Not so much. I mean, bandsaw. 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 Yeah. Yeah, another one. Sam, he's got an obsession. Incredible. Yeah. The Incredible is probably the nicest. Yeah, yeah it's buried. Yeah. Loads of lovely timber. What's this one? Purple heart. Yeah, purple heart. And. Heart maple. Yep, yeah, and have a look at this one. Roasted beech. Anyone seen that? But it smells like chocolate. Wow. Well, let's have a look at the coconut wood because that was awesome. Yeah. The first time I've seen that. This is actually from a coconut tree believe it or not but let's have a look at the grain it's like it's it hasn't got rings it's got like fibers pretty amazing mm. anyway um i could be here all day and film everything but i think we'll jump onto the shaper what are we actually going to do with this by the way jump on the workstation yeah cool lovely all right let's do it Yeah, so we've got the workstation out. We've got this. What's this for? To extend or to actually work on? Yeah, this is a bed for the workstation. Yeah, because this is only for the computer to read. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's positioning. You can use it without Okay. Yeah. Okay. On edge. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is something that you've made. Is it all it comes with a metal but you've just put the bed on the top? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that clips on that comes with a package, does it? Yeah. Yeah, a yeah, bit of ply. They're quite cool. Yeah. Cam pump. Yeah, so give them a turn and it tightens up your workpiece. They're really cool. Hmm. Okay, so what is that we, you need to set it up to the Wi Fi or anything? Yeah, or? So on Wi Fi. Yeah. You can so, see. Yeah. Yeah. Touch screen. Yeah. So uh, we'll show you the previous project. Yeah. What we're going to do is we'll scan in a new workspace. It's a new workspace. Mm -hmm. Start the scan. The green trigger button, mm -hmm. and you scan it. 
การงานอ so it's 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 trying to work out where it is it creates the workspace of the oh so it's actually yeah yeah so it's it scan the work piece that you've got yeah of the router yeah yeah so then on the tool yeah you can find the edge yeah click it on post click it and that then makes a line yep Over here. And then you find the corner. Yep. So that will then You've got the corner of the workpiece. Yep. And then from there, you can then make a grid that is two more, ten more. Yeah. So the size of square space. Yep. So the grid spacing. So then the next part is on the design. Mm -hmm. Create you know, tools built into it. Mm -hmm. uh, import the design from vectors. We'll do basic tools. Yeah, just to show you that. Yeah. So that's what it looks like on the workpiece, Shaper. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And then place it like that. Oh, so it's yeah. laid out as well in the right order. Scan, design, yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then you can see, and as you follow the tool path, it shows you where to start. Ah, direction is. So where would you start there on the blue dot? Yeah, on the blue dot. Yeah, and then you would start your router up. Yeah, yep. or your CNC. We can plug it in. Yeah, plug it in with the power. Dust cover. Mhm. Mm vacuum hose. Mhm. Mm yep. And before cutting, you click on Z. Yeah. It's automatic. All it does is lowers the bit. Ah, it just finds the. the yep. Yeah. So that just. Works yep. out the height. Yep. Okay. Uh, when you change cut, you can change the height. Mm -hmm. and so then when you go to cut, you can say what depth you want to cut to. So yep. One millimeter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So when you okay. turn it on, that will. Turn it on. Yep. So what Sam's doing now, he's just following the pattern on the screen. He's not looking at the workpiece whatsoever. He's got a start and stop point. He's got a blue dot. He presses the trigger, it lowers the spindle. He just follows the crosshair on the white line on the wording. And The computer software does the rest. The spindle moves around, so if he jiggles his arms or if he has a shake, it will compensate. He presses the button, it lowers it. Again, he follows the crosshair. If he's off on the crosshair, again, the machine will compensate and do its thing. You can see the spindle lift up now. I take you let, let go of the button to lift it up. Okay. It's so satisfying because you don't need to be steady or anything. It's, this is what the shaper is all about. It plunges itself in, in the, exactly the right position. You follow the screen. And it's like a little game. It's really fun. I've used this before, the last time I came to see Sam. And we made a oak handle. Yeah, and that was amazing. It was absolutely, you know, perfect. And it was the first time I used it. It's such fun as well. So look how the um, spindle lifts up in a the moment. There we go. Basically, all you need to do is press the button, and that plunges it. Yeah, yeah. and have a look. How cool is that? Look how straight the lines are. Okay, so that is all freehand. Albeit we've got a little bit of roughness, but what would you change? Is it the right bit? Is it something to do with the bit? Yeah, this is an upcut bit, so you do get kind of tear out of the top. Yep. Change for a down cut, or straight, or a compression. Yep. Um, but yeah, most of the time, it's just going to turn off. Yeah, yeah, so that's just a little bit burr. 
but I mean, just look how nice those curves are and the straight lines. Let's have a look at the H because you can never get a straight line like that with a freestyle, freestyling it. Mm. And yeah, for me, it's just fun. You just, it takes a few minutes to set the machine up, get your files into the machine. And then the fun begins because all you really need to do is press a button, it plunges it, obviously you need to follow your, the screen and just move your router roughly in the right direction. This crosshair needs to follow the line and it's as simple as that. Such a great piece of kit. So we've rigged this up as well, so this is quite handy. Would you move the tool for us? Sir? So basically, if you are on edge, say for example, you wanted to put a box joint into the edge of that piece of timber, obviously you need to support the CNC. So these, this rail here is adjustable. And there you go, you could just slide the CNC onto it and it just supports the back. Whilst you're machining the tip of a small piece. Really, really clever. Right, so sorry about the southern end. Um, Sam and I were really busy. We were talking tools. We were we had kids floating around. Um, yeah, but we were just preoccupied, and I just totally forgot to make an outro. So I'm here, um, lastminute.com, um, just playing around my 3D printer at the back. Um, this is going to be a video, by the way. I'm printing some F1 tracks um, on my Bamboo Lab carbon printer. Um, so that is to come in a few weeks. Yeah, I did want to use the shaper and stupidly I didn't and I didn't feel myself using it. I'll pop down to Sam's or Sam will come down and see me one day and he'll bring the shaper and we can use it again make another video. So that's it guys hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your Friday I'll see you next Friday. Take it easy. Ciao now.